What can I do? Everyone knows it's big, but just what goes into it? Well, <laughs> there's a lot that goes into this. Uh, it's not just a July event. Uh, we work all year long putting together uh, the cast, uh, the staff. There are about 750 in the cast and 150 on staff. And then many volunteers around the area um, come and help uh, support the pageant. Uh, last year, there were about 200,000 volunteer hours in order to produce this pageant at the Hill Kamara. How did you get involved with this? Uh, well, I joined the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in 1976, my wife and myself. Um, so I've been involved with the pageant since then, basically, on and off in some capacity, volunteering or doing something. Uh, three years ago, I was called as the president, uh, but for 20 years previous to that, I've been working in all different capacities. You talked about the volunteer hours. We were talking earlier. Because of those volunteer hours, it's part of the reason why the LDS leadership decided to end this. Well, partially, yes, that's true. Um, we see that there is a breakdown in the family going on uh, in society in general. Um, and the president of our church, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, has indicated we really want people to focus on the Savior in their homes, read scriptures daily, and build a strong bond in families. Um, pageants pull people away, at least for three or four weeks in July, uh, during the heavy crunch time of the pageant. Um, and so part of it was, let's keep people in their homes working on things. Uh, there are other reasons, too. There are seven pageants in the church, and uh, most are going away. Um, it's just not the uh, vehicle we use anymore uh, to run pageants and reach people. While there can be understanding of that, there still has to be some mixed emotions for those who have been so intrinsically connected to this. Yeah, for sure. Uh, there are a lot of sad people, people who have been involved for 20, 30 years. Uh, it's just become part of life. And many people that uh, come to the pageant uh, enjoy the spectacle and the, the huge production that it is out under the stars uh, during the pageant times that we have in July. We're hoping we go out with a bang. Uh, <laughs> there are, again, large crowds that are coming, so we really want to present. The stories in the Book of Mormon, again, are the interaction of Christ with the ancestors of the Native Americans. Uh, and so we really would like large crowds. We're welcome, we're prepared for them uh, to come, but there is sentimentality on those people to see it end in 2020. The pageant is free, but it is first come, first serve for seating. And even though they have thousands of seats, they're expected to fill up fast. So we have dates and all the info you need to know about in this story at rochesterfirst.com.